Well, many mayors around the country have declared their cities sanctuary cities, and now some universities are declaring themselves sanctuary universities, which is rubbing some lawmakers the wrong way. One America's John Hines, he has that story from Washington. Following the election of President Donald Trump, University of California President Janet Napolitano announced that UC system leaders would direct its police departments not to undertake efforts to enforce immigration laws, essentially creating sanctuary campuses. Now California Congressman Dana Rohrabacher is warning there could be consequences to this policy. Well, the federal government is giving all kinds of research grants and money to this campus that they don't think they have to follow the law. They could just take in the taxpayers' funds, but thumb their nose at the taxpayers when they say, you're putting us in jeopardy by having people who are here illegally consuming the scarce dollars that we have. I sent an official letter saying, okay, you keep this policy of keeping illegal here, you can try to finance it yourself. The threat of yanking federal funding from the UC system doesn't seem to be an idle one for Rohrbacher, who thinks part of what this is about is expressing an opinion about the Trump administration and its policies. Hey, they're thumbing their nose at Donald Trump. They're not just thumbing their nose at Donald Trump. They're thumbing their nose at every taxpayer in the country, and we're not going to let them get away with it. And so they may not get away with it if Rohrbacher has anything to do with it. And as it happens, he does. I plan to offer an amendment, and I may not offer it myself. I may give that to a member of the, uh, the Education Committee to actually offer the amendment, which will uh, prevent our limited tax dollars, our limited amount of money that we have to give to various campuses, from going to those campuses that are willing to spend it on people who are here illegally. And the reason Rohrbacher wants to end sanctuary campuses in the UC system is because because they are not fair to the students and their parents who are legal citizens, he says. We owe it to the American people to watch out for their interests first. That doesn't mean we don't care about some young person from some other country who's here illegally. But for us to spend limited dollars on them, it means that we won't have it to take care of the needs of our own American family. Declaring sanctuary cities and sanctuary campuses following the election has become popular, but a growing backlash in the Congress could reverse or at least slow this trend. John Hines, One American News, Washington.